Volodymyr Zelensky já está nos Estados Unidos para apresentar a Joe Biden o chamado Plano de Vitória. O encontro com o líder da Casa Branca é só na quinta-feira. O presidente ucraniano começou o périplo na Pensilvânia. Desta fábrica, em Scranton, têm saído grandes quantidades de projéteis de artilharia para as forças de Kiev. Zelensky agradece, mas tem insistido, sem sucesso, que a Ucrânia precisa de permissão para usar armas de longo alcance em solo russo. I think some of the limits imposed are probably just going to just going to stay. Uh, and I think Zelensky is probably well aware of what these limits are and how difficult and how slow it is to move Biden, but from a negotiating standpoint, maybe if you exert a lot of pressure, you get not everything that you ask for, but you get a bit. O plano de Zelensky deverá incluir garantias de segurança do Ocidente, além do aprofundamento da ofensiva ucraniana na região russa de Kursk. Será assim que Kiev consegue levar a Rússia para a mesa das negociações? I think we're very very far from any kind of negotiations for the simple reason that Russia is as aggressive if not more now than it was at the beginning of the war. So Russia is not moderating, it's pushing ahead in the Donbass. Putin announced, you know, increased levels of mobilization of Russian troops just a couple of days ago. Russia is investing massively in its defense industrial capacity. So Ukraine faces a highly aggressive Russia. As President Zelensky has said, nobody wants peace more than the Ukrainians. Given the current situation with an exhausted army on the battlefield, the constant plea for weapons and then restrictions on how to use them is unsustainable. But he says his plan for victory is a way to resolve all that.